Hi, in this video you will learn how to create animated photo frame in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative ideas to business presenters, trainers and consultants. The beautiful animated photo frame you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, you can see that this beautiful photo frame changes the pictures inside the frame automatically. The best part about this particular effect is, it is very easy to learn and you can have as many photos showcased in your presentation as required. Now let me show you how to create this beautiful animated photo frame effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing we require is a picture placeholder that will ensure that all the pictures I insert on this slide have the same dimension. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu. Under rectangles, I'm going to pick up this rectangle tool and I'm going to have a rectangle of this dimension and this is going to be the size for all the pictures that are going to be inserted. Now, I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to keep this on this side and I'm going to insert a picture into this rectangle. So I'm going to right click, go to Format Shape, go to Fill, go to Picture or Texture Fill and then go to the option called file and then go to the particular folder where you have chosen, where you have saved a lot of your pictures and then select the picture and say insert. Then go here, make another copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and let us try and insert another picture here. Let us go to picture or texture fill and this time I'm going to choose something like um, maybe this and I'm going to say insert and let me take another one and I'm going to insert a picture like uh, this time this is going to be this and I'm going to insert. So we have three different pictures and I'm only sticking to three pictures for this particular demonstration. You can have as many pictures as you want. The basic animation is going to be pretty much the same. So I'm going to place this right above the earlier photo and I'm going to do the same for this one as well. Just for good order's sake, if you are not sure that all the pictures are aligned properly, you can click and drag across all the photos. Go to Arrange, Align and say Align Center. Then Arrange, Align and say Align Middle and that will ensure that all the photos are properly aligned. And once it is done, you right click on the photo, go to Format Object and that will take you to this pane where you will get the option called Format Picture in the Effects option. And since this is a picture, you will get the format picture option, of course. Go to 3D rotation option and the preset I'm going to use this time is under perspective and I can use something like this called perspective contrasting right. And as soon as I did that, you can see that this is the way in which the picture gets a 3D orientation. Now I have got the default blue outline. I can always change the outline color to suit my requirement. Maybe I can have an orange color and I can always go to the fill and line option here and I can increase the size of the line by going to the line option here and choosing the width as maybe around uh, 25. So you can see that there is a beautiful frame that is already created. And if you want this to have a little more dramatic effect, you can choose a gradient line if you want. You can choose gradient line here and you can go to the option here in the preset gradients and maybe you can choose something like this which is top spotlight accent 2 and you can see that the outer frame is far more dramatic. Then we are going to add a shadow. So let us go once again to the effects option and this time we are going to open up the shadow options and the preset I'm going to use is all the way down and it is called perspective and this is the one that we are going to use. It's called perspective upper left and there it is. It's beautiful. The best part about this is if you want, if you're not very satisfied with the size of this image, then you can always select everything and then hold the control button down as you click and drag so you can always resize it to suit your requirement. Now we've got three different pictures, all of them aligned properly and all of them given the same kind of an effect and the shadow effect here. And we are now going to animate this. Let me go to format picture and close this pane and then go to home tab and go to select option here in the editing group and click on the option called selection pane and that will allow me to see each of these pictures so that I can apply the animation the way I want. 
Now I'm going to click outside and I'm going to select each picture in succession. So I'm going to select this picture, which is rectangle five, and I'm going to add animation. So let me go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to animations pane, so that you can clearly see the animation that I'm going to add. And this time I'm going to add an animation called exit animation. And I'm going to choose a very simple fade animation to take the previous picture away and reveal the picture behind it. So I've got my first picture animated. And if you require, you can always increase the duration of this to something like three seconds so that the whole effect is a lot more dramatic. Now that we have the first picture animated, we don't want to have that appear. So I'm going to go to rectangle here in the selection pane and I'm going to click on the I button here so I can temporarily hide it. Then I'm going to apply the animation for the second photo and the same fade animation for exit animation is going to be used here. And I'm going to make the change to say three seconds as always. And I'm going to click on the I button here and that reveals the last picture. I don't have to add any animation to this one. So I can go to show all so that all the pictures are shown. Now we have, as you can see here, on a, on a click, the first one fades away, revealing the second picture. Then on the next click, the second picture fades away, revealing the third picture. So that is how the animation is set up. I don't really want to keep clicking every single time. So I'm going to have after the first picture, everything else needs to happen after previous. So I'm going to select the second animation event and I'm going to say start after previous. So that is it. Since we only have three pictures, we are going to have two animations happen. And the way it is going to play is, let us go to the slideshow mode. On a click, the first picture vanishes slowly, revealing the second picture, and then reveals the third picture. And we are done with this beautiful animated picture frame. Now there are times that you might feel that this picture frame is hanging in thin air because there is no supporting structure on the slide. So if that is what you feel, then a good idea is to go to home tab, go to the rectangles tool, draw a rectangle that covers the bottom edge of your slide, give it a slight gray background like this, go to shape outline and say no outline, right click and send to back. And what you've done is you've added a floor that makes this 3D object look far more grounded. And then when you go to the slideshow mode, you can see that the picture frame sits quite nicely on the floor. And then on a click, you have the animations going. So that is how you create animated picture frame effect in PowerPoint. You liked today's video? Great. See, it's one thing to learn PowerPoint by picking up useful tips and tricks from different places, but it can only take you so far. If you really want to master PowerPoint, then you need to enroll into a structured training program that improves your skills systematically. That is why I created Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. Whether you are a rank beginner or an advanced user of PowerPoint, the program will take your skills to the next level. You get step-by-step -step video tutorials, downloadable files, exercises, resources, checklists, and quizzes that help you use PowerPoint creatively to get business results. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. And by the way, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I invite you to a free mini training called 16 Snackable PowerPoint Tips. The course offers 16 super short emails with 30 second PowerPoint tricks you can implement right away and impress your bosses, colleagues and audiences. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. There is also a link to this free mini training in the description area below. So please join the free mini training and I'll see you inside.